That's another nice riff, Sean. Oh, thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. So today we're going to talk about the basics of guitar controls on electric guitars. Yes, so a real simple example right here is the Telecaster. We'll start with the easy one. Pretty classic. Three controls. Got a three-way switch right here. Right now it's all the way to the back, which mm -hmm. is this pickup here by itself, the bridge pickup. The brightest pickup, closer to the bridge, means more treble. Yep. Switch that all the way forward to the neck pickup, which is that one by itself there. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit warmer, a little fuller. Yeah, a little smoother, yeah. A little more bite there. What about in the middle? He said it's a three-way switch. Oh, yes. The third one is both together. Right. So when we're right in the middle of the thing, it's a bit of both. A bit of both together. That gives you a totally different sound when they're combined. Okay. And what about the two knobs in a Telecaster-style guitar? So the knob closest to the switch is the volume knob. It simply makes it quieter, pretty self-explanatory. Also works uh, if your amp has a little gain on it. You can use this knob to clean it up a little bit, take some of that gain off. Now, where would you normally leave that set if you're just doing a regular playing and getting started? Um, most of the time, all the way up. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe slightly below to give you a little bit of a boost. Exactly, but you don't want to have it just barely on. It's typically not going to get the sound you're looking for. Exactly. It does very little when it's almost all the way off. Uh, cool. The last knob here on the very back is the tone knob. Mm -hmm. So if we turn that all the way up, we got a brighter tone. Mm -hmm. Turn it all the way down. Got a much darker tone. So what a uh, tone knob on a guitar actually does, it simply takes the treble off, uh, which gives the illusion of more bass. Right, because it's a passive control, right? So it can't exactly. add, it's just taking away. It can only take away, that's right. Okay, well, Telecaster seems pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. Next up, let's look at another common type of electric guitar uh, configuration. Sounds good, let's try a Les Paul next. Sweet. So here we are with a Les Paul. Uh, controls on a Les Paul, they look a lot more complicated, but it's actually like a Tele times two. Mm -hmm. So instead of our three-way switch down here, it's up here. It's up and down, so it's a little confusing as to which one's which. Yeah, how do you know which one's which? Well, it has a little ring here, but frankly, that doesn't really clarify the situation a whole lot because it says rhythm and treble. Mm. Now, we did say that bridge pickups have more treble. Yep. When you have it in the treble position, it's the bridge pickup by itself. So you were definitely right before. <laughs> definitely right. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Even Gibson agrees. Yeah. So, so here's the uh, bridge pickup by itself and mm -hmm. neck pickup by itself. Same thing. Definitely, Same. definitely brighter on the bridge. Definitely. Middle position is both. Got the best of both worlds there. Uh, Control-wise, we've mm -hmm. got an extra set of knobs here. Mm -hmm. The reason that is is because they actually have a separate volume and tone for each pickup on oh, this guitar. interesting. Which gives you all kinds of interesting options when both pickups are active. Mm -hmm. So you can turn down the treble pickup to make your middle position slightly less trebly. Mm -hmm. And is it the bottom volume that's for the back pickup? That's right, yeah. The, when the switch is down, you're using the bottom controls, which well, is for the bridge pickup. Good, well, at least that makes sense. <laughs> and indeed it does, yeah. So, if, uh, another interesting thing with the middle position, if, all the, if one volume is turned all the way down, mm -hmm. you get no sound, even though that one is still on. Oh, so that's actually not a broken guitar. It's actually not broken at all. Two switch positions do absolutely nothing if one of the volumes is all the way down. But if you switch it down, all of a sudden you got sound, which is kind of interesting for this effect. And great for wearing down a switch. And that as well, absolutely. But a fun effect every once in a while. Absolutely. Okay, well, cool. So what are we going to do next? So let's do a Strat next. Sounds good. So here we are with a Stratocaster. Um, little, got one extra knob than the Telecaster and one extra pickup. Okay. Uh, also, the switch is now a five-way switch instead of three. Um, right now we're on the bridge. Really bright. Yep. Uh, next pickup switch this way starts mm -hmm. engaging pickups in this direction, which is kind of intuitive, right? Mm -hmm. So we had that. All of a sudden, no buzz and that famous kind of quacky strat sound. Yeah, oh, that's been heard. Especially clean, it's so distinct. Oh, big time. Yep. You always know that sound. Yep. Uh, moving on, we got middle by itself. I have to admit, it's generally not the one that I love. I know, my, it has its uses. <laughs> but, yeah, but, uh, then again, we got the next position. This is the one that Clapton loves the best, mm -hmm. I would say. That's so a good tone. Even more quack right there. Yeah. And then? Then, of course, Marcus's personal favorite, the neck pickup you. on a Strat. <laughs> <laughs> Which, ironically, you know, because the Gibson's labeled lead or, or treble and rhythm, this is a fantastic lean tone, in my opinion. Yeah, it is. I just can't play lead, but I love the tone. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay, and then so, the three knobs now. So knob-wise, we actually have two tone knobs on this guitar, which is interesting. Mm. 
So this one in this position does absolutely nothing. In fact, neither of these knobs does anything on the bridge position on a lot of strats. Some are wired differently. Hmm. So in the middle position, the bottom knob is the tone control for the middle pickup. And the neck, the middle knob, is the control for the neck pickup. So different configuration, different wiring. So different errors, they did wire them differently. Some more modern ones, they do use this uh, last knob as both the middle and the bridge tone control. Gotcha. Okay, so basically, again, so if you're in the bridge position, your vol so your volume's always going to work on a Strat on every position. Yeah, that's what you call master volume, Master right? volume, exactly. But your tone mm -hmm. probably will not. It depends on your pickup position for which uh, tone knob will actually work on that pickup. Gotcha. Awesome. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's getting more complicated. So you really got to get into the instrument and play with it to understand how the Strat goes. Yeah, I'll never be afraid to experiment with all this stuff because you can't hurt anything here. Awesome. Okay, and uh, where are we going to go next? Um, well, Let's do, uh, what do we got, a Gretsch next? I we think? have a Gretsch, That's... a special category of Gretsch. Oh, yeah. So, okay, awesome. Oh, here we are, back with the Gretsch guitar. One of my favorite Gretsch guitars in the shop currently, the Rat Rub. Yeah, it's pretty sweet looking. So we got all kinds of knobs on here. What do all these do? Mm -hmm. So, uh, much like Les Paul, you got a three-way switch located on the top, on the upper boot. Down is the bridge pickup again, same okay. as the Les Paul. Mm -hmm. So that's, we've already gone over that. This knob on the front here, which is kind of a place so you can get at it fairly easily while you're playing, is the master volume. So you just turn that down, stops making sound. It's kind of a cool location for it, right? Really mm. convenient to reach. Yeah, because you can, you can kind of do swells and whatnot with it there. It's a little kind of handy to reach. Okay, and then the other three. So at the very back, we got a master. It's a, actually the volume for the bridge pickup. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. And then, up here, that is the volume for the neck pickup. And way down here on the bottom, that's a tone control for both, master tone. Master tone. So what the, the reason they do this is in the middle position, you can adjust how much of each of this pickup you get, like on a Les Paul. Mm -hmm. But unlike on a Les Paul, you can get your balance, and then you can adjust the whole master volume with a different up so you don't mess up the blend. Ah, uh, okay. So it definitely has some advantages, but it's a bit more complicated and trying to wire that up inside a hollow or semi-hollow body is an adventure. It is an adventure indeed, uh, not for the faint-hearted. Well, cool. Well, thanks <laughs> so much, Sean, for breaking down the, the common configurations of electric guitar pickups. And, you know, we'll have lots more to talk about in the future, but please take us out with a riff. Sounds good. I'm feeling a little bluesy today, so...